In Henry County, two things you'll find plenty of are history and hospitality. For a mix of both, let's start at Paris Landing. It was at Paris Landing in the fall of 1864 where Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest placed a battery of artillery aimed at the Tennessee River. He used this position and others to disrupt river traffic by attacking Union supply ships and gunboats. But today, hospitality replaces the hostility of the Civil War. The echo of cannon is replaced by the purr of a motorboat and sounds of families having fun at Paris Landing State Park. Located on Highway 79, this beautiful park rests on the banks of the Tennessee River and Kentucky Lake, offering your family picture-perfect spots for fishing, boating at the marina, plus hiking, swimming, camping, and golfing on an incredible course that is as scenic as it is challenging. As for history, more of that can be found in Paris, the county seat. In this quaint piece of small town America, the first of around 2,500 Henry County volunteers joined the Confederate Army in 1861. Just one mile west of the courthouse on Highway 54, you'll find a historical marker for the Battle of Paris. Near this spot, Confederate soldiers defeated a Union column sent by General Ulysses S. Grant to occupy the town. Also nearby is the Paris City Cemetery, where you can visit the burial sites of several Confederate Civil War veterans. Their graves are distinguished by wedge-shaped stones etched with CSA. A larger and more elaborate stone is for Confederate officer and later Tennessee Governor James D. Porter. At the northwest corner of the cemetery, before a field of open ground, is a monument dedicated to the town's slave and freed African-American citizens, some of whom lived during the Civil War. With moving words of tribute, this impressive marker pays honor to those African-Americans buried in unmarked and poorly marked graves. This site is overlooked by Quinn's Chapel AME Church. This unique Gothic-style building is an African-American congregation which was started by missionaries after emancipation and the Civil War. Your journey through Henry County history continues a short drive away at the Heritage Center in Paris. This 1916 mansion, now a local history museum with rotating exhibits, houses a unique Civil War relic. The Conway Bible is considered to be a very important Civil War memorabilia for Henry County. It was presented to the troop of Captain Thomas Conway when they were about to depart for active duty by the women of Paris. Midway through the Bible between the Old and the New Testament is a complete listing of the muster or the role of the people who were serving in that unit. And there's also an area where they have discharges and promotions and resignations. Today, you can still read the names of those soldiers written in the Bible, as well as the dates when some of them lost their lives. A few blocks away is a place that blends both history and culture for the people of Henry County. Named after Confederate General Robert E. Lee, Lee School Center for the Arts has a rich heritage. A portion of the building dates to pre-Civil War days when it was an academy for young men and was the assembly place of the county's first company of Confederate soldiers as they left for war. Now Lee School is a place where beginning and accomplished artists study both visual and performing arts and resident artists exercise their creativity in their own studio sanctuary. 